Yeah, I heard that there's a, they're calling something new, the new Corona or the new. COVID-19 or no, COVID-20 now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I respect it. It's like 29 right now. That's gravy train. That's almost t-shirt weather. <laughs> yeah, compared to, compared to what, what it was. Just show my picture of my tent. <laughs> yeah, I want to send you a picture of uh, a column tent. It's a nice little set. It's a little scout looking uh, tent. And uh, I actually kind of like it. I'm thinking about getting one. Makes it. Can you tell I've set this thing up a few times? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're pretty efficient at it. It's just, it's simple. I've always adored the old Happy freaking Saturday, everyone. Tyler Wood Bushcraft here, and today I'm out camping with a special guest. We are with Colin, and Colin has got a very nice setup here. Look at this. You said that's the uh, French Commando? Yep. French Army Commando tent. That's nice. He's already got his set up, and I, uh, all I got done is just put my backpack up on a, on a tree here. <laughs> so, I think I need to get going. Here's one good thing about this one, Tyler. <laughs> oh, yeah? I could use this for the tent if I needed to. I gotta figure out which one's the, the rain fly and which one isn't. How can you tell the difference? I gotta pull it out and see. You don't have it marked? No. I said I only use this thing once. Oh, okay. I figured you'd have them color coded. That's your tip, isn't it? Nope, this is the uh, this is the rain fly right here. Oh, okay. For your tip. Yes. Okay. That Mine doesn't have a rain fly, but I can always add one if I...
his axe is a lot better than mine. <laughs> there we go. You're good to go. Uh, well, this what do is, we got here? This is a uh, military issue triaxing fuel tablet that we got at the local army surplus store. Unintentionally, mind you, because I picked up an item that uh, had a bunch of other items in it for a dollar. So I got a see a triangular bandage, purification tablets, and this. So awesome. I'll, I get to try out what the military issue tracks and tablets how they work. I've only heard about them, never seen one, never used one. Well, this is going to be a first. <laughs> you hear that, Paul? He's he's, he's trading on us. He don't want the black and white. He wants the uh, the military one. Oh, it's all powder too. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh man. It's blue. Blue powder. Yeah. I'll just get that on me. <laughs> yep. And if it doesn't, we got backups. <laughs> the black and white fire starters are, are next on the list if this doesn't work. Yep, we have the good old black and white just in case, but we're going to try this out. And what was it one more time? The triaxing uh, fuel tablets. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. Every little bit helps. If it wasn't for the fact this is a foil packet, I'd just leave it in there, but I don't want to do that. We've got our Hidden Woodsman pack. And what do we have in here? Everybody's favorite fire starter, birch bark. Birch bark and some black and white. That is our new well, logo. I like, your, I like your tents. Yeah, he just got those done. Some ferro rods. Oh, I got my ferro rod too. I got multiple ferro rods actually. That one? <laughs> I got my old school one and I... I'll let you put that on there if you're down there already. It's on. There it goes. Whoa. Holy camoly. Gotta watch my mouth. <laughs> Dude. If you guys haven't seen Black and White Firestar's new logos and their new tins, definitely go check it out. Uh, Paul Corona, owner and operator of Black and White Firestarters. Uh, amazing stuff. I got some new products I want to show you guys later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome, along with some patches and some stickers. Uh, and these are, I mean, these are just like the uh, Alt uh, what is it, Altoid? 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 Uh, I'll show you. I've got some in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> I, I left mine at home because I got this now, but it's... It's just like those, so I mean these are going to be multi-use, uh, tens of course, inside comes two box of matches, so really cool stuff, I can't wait to show you guys that. When you're up there, one of these. Oh yeah. Blanket pin. That would have been nice. You never can go too wrong without having one of those. You know, I don't see anyone, any of my uh, blacksmith friends make these, you know. Yep. These are kind of like a thing in the past. That's really cool. Oh man, this is, my fingers are freezing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw a spark. There we go. Let's see if I can get a zoom in on that. Yeah. Master of the flint and steel over here. This one actually won a competition at the Iowa State Fair last year. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Well, we got time. We can play so with So I'm going to use Collins uh, still right here. We're going to try the, uh, the uh, arrowhead that Blake had sent me. So I'm using two different things from two different subscribers, and we're gonna see if we can get a fire going using the Wood Squad power. I really Use it with the it black works. and white. Yeah. Then you got three subscribers. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. Like I said, it's a really good steal. <laughs> so we got Colin's steel. We got uh, Blake Hurst's arrowhead that he made me, and we got a fire going Wood Squad style. Here's, here's what my stove looks like. At least we don't have to worry about things going bad because there's the heat. Yeah.
and it's done. Same people. Let's see what you got. Yeah, see here. Right, yeah. <laughs> Pliers or a knife. Yeah, you awesome. got something. Yeah, I do got something. Let's see. Nice hook and a bottle cap. What? Mike's nice. Hard Lemonade. <laughs> That's a nice job. Oh, snap! There are pliers! There are plier guys! Okay, I think I'm sitting in the safe zone. So the line had snapped, um, and then the, the GoPro is shutting off because of the cold and the wind. So hopefully uh, we can get this and pull it up and show you guys what's going on here. We're using an old trusty Jeep to, to pull her up, so we'll see what happens. down there and we could not pull it up it kept snapping our lines uh, even my Jeep was having a hard time pulling it up every time I let off the gas it just kind of pulled me back in so uh, whatever it is it's huge um, all the magnet fishers out there come here and figure out what it is there's a nice magnet down there too so <sighs> the first perk Having a little bit of a snack, some Mountain House. This is the uh, biscuits and gravy. And it's not morning yet, and that's the beauty of it. We finally got our percolator going. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's going. Oh, you said, what, what did you say? I can't remember. The Perkinator? Yeah, yeah, so Colin named it the, uh, the Perk, uh, the Perkinator. The Perkinator. <laughs> so that is its name. So I want you guys all to welcome the, the Perkinator. It's cold out here. It's like, it starts to feel nice and as soon as you start to feel really good, it like gets really cold again. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I don't know who's worse. I don't know if Colin's worse or if Mark's worse. They're both just like hounding that uh, percolator. Like, where is it? When is it ready? When is it ready? Oh, I used to deal with it when I was a kid. But, I mean, 
because they didn't have automatic drip and all this other stuff growing up, so. Yeah. All right, so me and Colin's been out here hiking around, exploring the land. Found some really interesting stuff. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned and see what we had found, what we found. Um, we are on a night hike, or night hike. Ugh, night hike. I can't even talk right now. Um, I'm using my nighttime, my night vision on my camera. Here I've owned this camera for a year now and never knew that it has night vision on it. I am seeing good signs of not a lot of trash. One more good sign. What's that? No frost. Yeah, no frost. That's a good sign. <laughs> At least for me. It means it might change.